What's up everybody, Average Sniper here, and welcome to the video. You click this video because you want to get better at PUBG. Maybe you're a brand new player, maybe you've been playing for months, maybe you've been playing for years and you're just looking for ways to improve your gameplay. Well, the first thing you need to do is hit the like button because if you don't hit the like button, you'll never get better at PUBG. Now, some of these uh, things might seem sarcastic, but that is just my brand of humor. Hopefully, this guide will help you get better at PUBG. The first thing you have to realize is that you are not good at PUBG, and you will never get better at PUBG. But if you follow these steps, you'll get better at PUBG. All right, here we go. So what I've done here is I've played a match off stream, and I've landed at Ruins on Sandhawk. And fortunately, I was able to kill the only guy that landed with me, which leads me to my very, very first point. Don't do crazy hot drops. If you are good at the game and you like to have fun and gamble, hot drops are great. If you are not that good at the game and you're looking to get better, you want to land somewhere where there's either only going to be one or two players or maybe just you so that you can get some good loot so that you can actually aim and shoot somebody instead of getting destroyed while you're running around with a pan and they have a fully kitted M4 because they got luckier than you. So the moral of the story is land somewhere where you're not going to immediately die. That way you actually get to play the game. Uh, second tip I can give you, don't spend a crazy amount of time looting. Get what you need. Um, I suggest a full auto assault rifle with the right attachments and a long range weapon. You do not want to run around with two SMGs or a shotgun and an SMG or an assault rifle and a shotgun. Sometimes this can be fun when you get better at the game, but if your goal is to get better, because obviously you're trash, <laughs> then you want to run an assault rifle and a sniper rifle. Obviously your gear, get the best gear you can. That goes without saying. If you find level two gear, you are pretty lucky. If you find level three gear, you are very lucky. All right, so here's a guy that I just randomly decided to start shooting at. And this may or may not be a good idea. It depends on the situation. If there's nobody else around except you and the guy, and there's a bunch of distance in between you, feel free to take those pot shots. But realize, every time you take a shot at an enemy, uh, you are giving away your location. So get out of there as soon as possible. After you shoot at somebody, do not stick around. Other players will have heard those shots and will be coming for you. Here's a... Uh, Here's another good example of things of something I like to do. I like to stalk players and position myself in a place where they have to come to me. So as I was running toward the zone, which is something you should do if you're if you're very far outside the zone, you should make an effort to move towards the safe zone. That is what this game is all about. So the way I look at it is you land somewhere, you grab some gear and you move towards the center of the safe zone, and maybe if you're lucky, you get some kills along the way. That is my strategy. Now, when I play on stream, I like to have fun, and I like people to be entertained, so I do a lot of different things. But when I play off stream, the, the entire strategy of winning a match involves moving towards the safe zone. And I actually prefer to do this without a vehicle, because it's so easy to get shot out of a vehicle, unless I have to take a vehicle. Now, as you can see, this guy, Instead of taking a bunch of pot shots at him, which I guarantee most of the people watching this video, that is exactly what you do. Don't lie to yourself. Don't lie to me. Just admit it. You see a guy far away, you start shooting at him. Maybe adjust your strategy a little bit. Look where the zone is and realize that guy has to run towards the safe zone. So can you get in a position to cut him off? Here's another good example of uh, patience. I heard some shots in that building, so I decided to sit by this rock and wait instead of running up to the building to see what I can find, to see where the enemy is. I know there's one over there, but I don't know exactly where he is until I catch a glimpse of him laying prone in the middle of the floor. Now, this is a classic example of someone who did not realize they could be seen through the window. You will find a lot of players like this. Even pro players make this mistake where they're inside a building and they go prone or they crouch down thinking that nobody has a line of sight on them. I still do it. I still get killed that way. Notice we are right on the edge of the zone. This is because I heard gunshots off in the distance and I expected someone would be running by shortly. And sh 
sure enough, they were. All right. So I think those are the, I mean, I still have some more tips for you, but those are the most important ones. Get an assault rifle and a sniper rifle. Get your gear. Don't spend too much time looting. Slowly mo move towards the center of the safe zone. Get kills along the way, but don't go hungry for kills. Sometimes the kills come. Sometimes you get all the way to the end and you've only had one or two kills. Focus on getting to the safe zone. Now, if somebody surprises you, there's not much you can do. You're going to have to fight. Take whatever cover is available to you. If you have no cover available, you're just going to have to take your chances at shooting back. This is how PUBG works. Sometimes you will get screwed. Sometimes you will get lucky. Like you saw, I just got lucky there. Now, on the way to the zone, on the way to the safe zone, I find some people having a firefight. And this is a very easy way to pick up some extra kills. It's called third partying. So I see these guys fighting. I know they're probably low on health. They're probably vulnerable. I shoot one. He dies immediately. I know the other one is probably going to get back in his truck, which he does. I don't know how that shot missed. But at this point, my mistake was continuing to shoot at the truck. I've already taken a lot of shots from this position. And I'm just lucky that nobody was around. I should have just taken off after I missed that shot. And... Uh, got to the zone. So you can notice if you look at the mini map, I'm always hanging around. I'm always hanging around right on the edge of the circle. Uh, the reason for that is because if you go to the center of the circle too soon, you make yourself a target. Hang out on the edge of the circle. That's where most other players are going to be. And you, this is, this is your chance to get a lot of extra kills by hanging around the edge of the circle where players are going to be. Now you might think that's kind of crazy because you're like, that's where all the players are going to be. But think about it this way. If you move to the center of the circle too soon, all the players on the edge of the circle are going to see you. It's almost going to be like they're working together to shoot you. But really what's happening is you've just put yourself in a really, really bad position. Here is another example of a guy that looks like a pretty good player. He's got good movement. He uses smokes, but he has to move towards me. In PUBG, position is everything. You can have the best aim in the world, but if you have to run out in the open and there is a noob that has just sort of good aim, he's probably going to, that noob is probably going to get you, okay? Because you have no cover, and even if you're a good shot, it's going to be a miracle if you can take that person out while you're forced to run from the blue zone, throw smokes, dodge and weave. It's a very stressful situation. So now we're down to a 1v1. You have finally made it. You probably get here a lot by camping and playing like a bitch. But now let's change that. Let's talk about one of the most important rules for a 1v1 situation. And that is don't be a bitch. And I'm actually not being sarcastic about this. One of the biggest mistakes I see players make in the 1v1 situation is letting their nerves get the best of them. They freeze up, they get scared. Even when they see the enemy and have a clear shot, they're afraid to take it. They don't move correctly. Your palms might get sweaty. Your heart rate might go up, especially if you're really into the game. If it's very important to you that you get this win, your body is going to work against you. I know that sounds crazy because it's just a video game and there's probably some people that are watching that are like, what is he talking about? But trust me, the real ones out there, you know exactly, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So 1v1 situation, don't be a bitch, all right? Find the, I, and, and when I say don't be a bitch, I don't mean play dumb. I don't mean uh, hop, skip, and jump around in the open. I mean, look at the zone. Look at the map. Look where it's going. Slowly move towards the zone, but don't move too soon. If you don't know where the last enemy is, the last thing you want to do is run in front of them or get to the zone too soon and give them a whole bunch of opportunities to shoot at you. Now remember, this other guy is probably feeling the same way. A lot of times in the final circle, you think, oh my God, I'm the noob, the other guy's the pro. No. Most of the time, in, in the top two... It is two noobs. Trust me. I see this all the time. I do stupid things. I get myself killed. I watch the last two guys fight and I facepalm myself because I'm like, I could have killed both these guys with my eyes closed if I had just followed my own rules and not done something so dumb to get myself killed. But you've made it this far, so you're okay. Stressful situation, 1v1. Now we're about to find out where the last guy is. Uh, most likely he's... 
you the circle is small you finally moved into it you're right on the edge and right now your nerves are really getting the best of you because you still haven't seen this last guy why is it taking so long to find him are you about to get shot in the head calm yourself down just keep doing little wiggle movements so that your head's not sitting still keep looking around and paying attention to sound cues look for snakes if if there's still a blue chip detector in the game feel free to use that which you'll see me do in just a second and i see the guy right in front of me behind that rock so the first thing i do i'm gonna chuck a grenade and the second thing i do is i'm going to chuck another grenade because that grenade missed well you suck you didn't pick up enough grenades so all you have left now is smoke this happens all the time when i go to throw my second grenade i'm like all i have is smoke so now it's established that both people see each other and this is the part this is the part where people bitch up and they get scared this guy sees me i see him what do i do attack the guy don't run out in the open and give him a free chance but shoot some smoke move from cover to cover keep the guy guessing remember He's sweating just as much as you are. He doesn't know what's about to happen to him. He doesn't know that you're about to jump on the rock, jump around, do a 180, see that he's super confused, walk up to him, and shoot him in the face. And that is how you get a winner-winner chicken dinner. Get, get an assault rifle and a sniper rifle. Don't do hot drops. Play the zone. Take fights you can win. Respond to enemy threats as best you can. And move on the edge of the zone. And... Don't be a bitch. I hope you enjoyed. Smack that like button.